keep it simple. Welcome, and how does it feel? Uh, well, now a little surreal. I let all you guys know, but uh, uh, it's great. Um, you know, everybody, I was thinking about, you know, what I would say, and everybody always says, oh, you know, want to go to a place. I think I told Mojica when he came to L.A. last year that this would be top spot if I could if I could choose somewhere just based on players comments and uh, you know uh, you always hear the fans are great and you know I know a lot of people say that but players say that uh, even when they're on other teams about about St. Louis and the you know the knowledge of the fan here and uh, you know what a great place it is to play and you know talk to some uh, other guys who played here so I had told Mejica that this would be my top place to play and you know didn't think I'd be fortunate enough to uh, be able to choose that but uh, you know uh, fortunately it worked out. What was, your, what was your thought when it came about? Um, actually, what's funny is uh, my my wife was in a conference here uh, the first time, the first or second time that they had called. So my agent called me and said, you know, hey, the, the Cardinals are, you know, putting some feelers out there. And I think that was November, October or November. And uh, I was like, well, that's funny because I'm ironing a shirt in St. Louis right now. And they, they knew that they were on the, the <clears throat> one of the top three choices for me uh, going into the off season, And, um, you know, they called a couple more times and then, Basically, bang! It just ha you know they called me uh, the week of the winter meetings, and it just kind of happened all really quickly. What was the cab ride like with Subchinsky? <laughs> it was interesting. You know, I, I we got here, my wife and I got here last night, and my bags came off, and I'm using my old Marlins bags uh, for suitcases, just easy. So he said he thought he recognized me, but once he saw the bags, that he came up and introduced himself, and uh, you know, between the two of us, uh, we were your typical left-handers. So we were fighting to get a word in edgewise. We were both just back and forth, and you know, you just kind of feel the excitement or whatever and just talking and talking about how it's going to be and, you know, have two two guys in the pen. And, you know, he's, he seemed excited uh, that I was here, kind of get back to his the, the role that he was doing and that, you know, kind of help out. And, you know, he'd have more of a defined role instead of, you know, being the only lefty in the pen. You know, that tends to you get up three times a game or they don't get you in, in certain spots, whereas now it's, you know, you got two guys, it's a little easier to do that. Have you been the only lefty in a bullpen before? And what does it do for you to have another guy down there? Uh, I've been the only lefty, and I'm not sure in a uh, big league pen. Uh, I might actually might have been last year for a little bit with the Marlins. Like, I can't remember if there were two there at, at certain times or not. Um, I, to me, it's a little different, I think, because it's it's basically f focused towards one hitter. You know, for a guy like him, he's a full inning guy. So uh, it just gives it just gets where if you're going to get up, you know, you're pretty much going to get in that time unless that guy just gets out of it or that lefty doesn't get up. But it, it gives uh, it gives you the chance to not have to worry about getting up three times or be like, okay, do I warm up enough for this? So I, I just think it, it makes it easier because it doesn't uh, have you getting up and down so much.